Well, Africa being credited with another contribution to science. CNN's Patricia Kelly talked with researchers who have evidence that 20,000 years ago, before the pharaohs of Egypt, another African civilization produced a sophisticated calculator. Proof that primitive man was well acquainted with mathematics lies under lock and key in the dusty archives on the 19th floor of Belgium's Royal Institute of Natural Science. Best described as a prehistoric calculator, it's a piece of animal bone, just 10 centimetres long, about four inches. Discovered in the 1950s by a leading Belgian archaeologist, the bone was found near Lake Edward at Ishango, on the border between the Congo and Rwanda. What sets the bone apart from the other fossils and fragments found at Ishango are its markings, groups of notches arranged in three distinct columns. They are very, very well organized. They are not made at random. If, the, if you, you can make notches at random just to count how many animals you have uh, killed today or something like that, but it's rather well organized. When the notches are counted, a series of number sequences emerges. They suggest a number system based on 10, another based on 12, as well as a knowledge of multiplication and of prime numbers. This is a replica of the bone. It's thought this piece of quartz at the tip may have been used for writing or engraving. The Ashango bone may also be proof that a highly advanced civilization existed in Central Africa 15,000 years before the emergence of Egyptian culture. Homo sapiens may therefore have evolved in Central Africa before anywhere else in the world. We have more and more proofs of mathematical activities in Africa, not written, but on stones, on bones, on strings. So indeed, there are more reasons to think that it's the start of, it's the very first mathematical activity. And to my, in, well, in my view, of course, it's even, it should not be on the 19th floor. It should be on a golden table at the entrance of the museum. It's thought Ishango man's numbers system may have spread north following the River Nile into Egypt as well as into West Africa. Now his influence may travel even further. This award-winning film director wants to take the bone into space and make a documentary about it. I want to make a link uh, uh, between the history, the, the history of Africa and the future of the mankind. With the help of the European Space Agency, he's already taken the bone on a practice parabolic flight in zero gravity. The project is a deliberate allusion to the opening scene from Stanley Kubrick's classic science fiction film 2001, A Space Odyssey. Fifty years after the Ashango bone was found and stuffed away in a drawer, it could be blasted into outer space, turning science fiction into fact. That could happen even before it goes on public display here on Earth. Patricia Kelly, CNN, Brussels. And um, recently I've worked with a number of other people on, a, on a, an intriguing specimen from Nigeria that's only 13,000 years old from a site called Iwo Eleru. This is the oldest fossil human in the whole of West Africa. It's only 13,000 years old. And in my PhD, it came out as a rather strange mixture of archaic and modern human features. And I thought that was maybe just uh, the way I'd studied it or measured it or analyzed it at that time in 1974. So I revisited the specimen with new dating work and in collaboration with people like Katerina Havati, geometric morphometrics. And uh, in the session at the AAPA meetings, um, we presented the idea that this specimen actually was very distinct from, uh, from recent populations in West Africa and indeed showed some rather archaic features. Here it is compared with the Jungaloba specimen from Lightly, which is uh, dated usually around 150,000 years old. In Katerina's geometric morphometric analyses, this was the nearest neighbor in terms of cranial shape to Iwo Eleru. And in the same session in which we presented our results at the Fizanth meetings, Is Isabel Krevka presented uh, with co-authors, including Alison Brooks, the view that at Ishango in the Congo, similarly in a late Stone Age context, there were specimens from Ishango that showed archaic characteristics less than 20,000 years ago. So a more complex picture here uh, for Africa than we normally think of.